declining. And as you can see, we're starting to pull back. Uh, nothing amazing. Uh, I started shorting it when we went above this 138 here, this the upper 130 area. And um, I hedged all the way 100% now, like last 20% of it, I did above uh, the $2 range. And um, yep, I'm just basically holding from here and I'm looking for us to go all the way back down uh, not only under 136 which I might start to cover some of it um, but ultimately for the 103 the target down here and so nothing has changed and I'm continuing to look for that um, I believe we'll get there I, how long it's going to take well considering that this took a, you know weeks to get all the way up to where we are right now um, from last month and almost a month uh, in uh, reality right so less than a month but around there um, it might take weeks to get all the way back down here so we'll see what happens I'm not in a rush uh, I basically have a neutral position so you know I'll just be buying back uh, what I own because I, I want to lock in my profits in reality and that's the same thing with uh, Mara as well. And this one I'm expecting to go all the way back down to here, the 480s. So yeah, I'll just be waiting for that to happen on there. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin because I did hedge more, uh, another 10% at this 22,860 uh, area. And um, uh, you know, I, I don't think that there's uh, anything to do but wait on all of these. I, I see it's very flat line and it has a lot of these spike candles right off of this um, mid-22, 360 range right there. But, you know, no big deal. I'll wait. There are possibilities that we could go higher. Uh, the volume the tape read is very negative. Uh, so I don't think it's going to last long if we do go back up to these levels, but you don't know. I'll look to hedge another short if we get back to around that 25k area um, in this block right here, because this is the next resistance point. Let me point that out on the chart. You remember this area over here that I showed you? Uh, I'm looking for that to occur. Um, so that's a possibility. That's a, a statistical possibility. Now, do we close out this pattern, pull back here first before getting to this level? That's a good question. Um, but uh, I won't be able to say either way until it actually happens. So we'll just have to sit and wait. Uh, but my next level up here will be to hedge short another 10% of what I own. And yeah, that's basically it. So there's really nothing for me to do, and but wait, uh, we already know what I think of uh, here. Hedge short 20% right there on that uh, Ethereum, and another 10% I'll look to hedge if we get above the 1700. So that's my plan uh, for all of these. Uh, buyer down here. Uh, seller up here, so this area right there. I've traded this rank perfectly, so I'm very happy with uh, the quality of the, the trades that I did. And, uh, um, I built up some really nice profits, and I can't complain about that. But let's see, let's look at some other markets because honestly, right now we're in wait and see mode on uh, Bitcoin, and and uh, we'll see if we're going to make a move higher or if we're going to break down. Uh, again, they're sellers, so in the tape it, it reads negative, but um, that does not mean we can't go higher. But anyway, let's go to silver. Silver had that one pullback right here, and it dropped really quickly, but then it's pulling back all the way back up to here. Um, again, nothing to do. Wait for this to go all the way back down to the low, under 21, and you know 
uh, close out any hedges from there and look for higher numbers going forward in time because I believe we're going to get a move that goes all the way back up all the way back up to the 36 and on number all the way up here but that's uh, in you know the coming months uh, again no rush there um, the Dow this is one that I wanted to talk about and you see we have a pull back here it pulled all the way up back into the red zone but then now is pulled back and started to pull back and uh, again, nothing to do but wait for this target down here, kind of like with silver. So both of those are negatives as well as with Bitcoin. So everything I'm showing here is telling me to sell. And uh, I just have to basically wait. Uh, so it's kind of an uninspiring moment that we're in, nothing of interest. Um, marking a few uh, pairs that I would look for short-term trades. And not in the range of free money, but they're good trades. Uh, I'll be watching them to see how they develop, and you'll probably be hearing about those in the near future. I'm not going to tell you what they are ahead of time, but I will let you know that I, I have spotted two candidates. Um, so it'll be interesting if they develop and they uh, um, are good enough for good trades. Uh, that's basically it for this update. I'm going to have other videos out. They're probably going to be more educational. And... Um, this one is just going to be a short one, nothing really going on in the marketplace that I really can see that is interesting. Um, things are kind of just blah at the moment. So anyway, that's the start of this week. I will see you in the next video. Have a great week.